As of the end of the 2022 season, my mid-ranges in my bag consisted of two rocks, a rock three, and a Cayman. These were more or less the mid-ranges that were in my bag for the entire season. And as of recently, none of these are in my bag anymore. I have taken them all out. I first picked up this ESP Buzz to try to replace my rock just as a one-off in my bag. I heard the Buzz is a really nice disc. I wanted to try a mid-range that wasn't beaded because I actually like the feel of my Cayman more than I like the feel of my rocks. And of course, I've heard so many good things about the Buzz. I like the ESP plastic, so I picked one up in my local store. I liked it quite a bit and started picking up more. And before I knew it, I had my entire mid-range collection replaced with Buzzes. So now, in the same order, I have a Buzz SS, an ESP Buzz, a Z Buzz, and an ESP Buzz OS to replace all of those discs. So the Buzz OS would go with my Cayman. This would go with my Rock 3. This ESP Buzz would go with my Rock that's a little bit more new, more stable. And the Buzz SS will be my super old beat up Rock. I'm gonna throw them out in the field here. I haven't thrown them a whole lot. I've played maybe one or two rounds where I've thrown a couple of them. I like pretty much how all of them fly quite a bit. I'm still learning them. But I wanna compare them to my old discs to really see if the comparison is there for what I'm replacing them with and see if there is any comparison to be made, what it is and how they're different. All right, so you can't see it, but in front of me I have all the disc pairs laid out. I'm gonna start off with the Buzz SS and my really beat up rock. We do have a bit of a headwind. I'm just gonna throw them neutral maybe around 250, 300 feet, not tons of power. Just see how they fly on a normal throw. So I'll start with my old disc and then I'll throw the new one. So rock and then Buzz SS. Pretty big headwind, so just turn into a straight roller. Okay, and that was a lot more of a neutral flight. It went flat and turned over a little bit, but wasn't quite as much of a roller. So like already a bit more dependable in the wind. Now let's go with my more stable rack and my ESP Buzz. That flew pretty much the same as the Buzz SS, so more comparable to that. It's honestly a pretty similar flight, but less headwind, so that's probably what that was for. But it's just a touch more under, or sorry, a touch more stable than the Buzz SS, but not by that much. Kind of surprising. All right, Z Buzz versus Champion Rock 3. Turned over a bunch in the wind, but mostly went straight. All right, that glided a lot more, stayed in the air a lot longer, and pretty much flew completely flat. It had a bit more stability to it than the other disc. All right, and last up, we have the Buzz OS and the Cayman. I think the Cayman, considering it is a two glide and the Buzz OS is a four glide, this thing's gonna dump out super early and not go as far, and the Buzz OS is gonna glide a lot further, I'm pretty sure. And the Cayman's more stable. With the headwind pretty much dead straight. Let's try the buzz. So much more glide, goes so much further, especially into this headwind. The Cayman kind of went straight down for, a, for pretty early in the flight and came out really early. The Buzz OS just kept gliding forever. Super, super good into a headwind like this. Last thing I want to do here is just show the one thing that I think the buzz is best for, which is getting like nice flip ups that just, you can put them on hyzer and get them to hyzer flip up really nicely and glide really far. You see people like Drew Gibson doing it all the time, or pretty much anyone that throws for Discraft, but I know Drew Gibson has that really nice Z buzz that he's broken in. So I'm gonna try and throw the buzz SS and the ESP buzz, and then also my two rocks and see how they look different or the same on like a nice hyzer flip up. It'll be really good in this headwind too. So I'm gonna start off, I'll start off with the two rocks and then I'll throw the buzzes. So this is that really flippy one. Gave it a bit of height, a bit, probably a little bit, little bit too much. 
but it flipped up really fast and just kind of glided right. So we're gonna try the other one that's a bit less flippy. I think this one will be a little nicer, a little bit more mellow of a turn. Yeah, I just put that on a ton of hyzer, went flat, kind of came out. That's the thing that I noticed with the rocks, is they either turn over a ton, like that first one, or they go kind of flat in hyzer, but they don't have that really nice characteristic flight that the Buzz has, where it's gonna flip up and just ride flat. So I'm gonna throw the Buzz SS and then the ESP Buzz, and I'll kind of show how these fly a little bit different, in my opinion. Now this Buzz SS is gonna break in as I throw it more, it's gonna have a lot different of a flight, it's gonna be a lot more flippy. Right now, it's pretty stable. It'll probably end up being a lot more like that white rock that I have that's super beat up and gonna turn over a lot more. But right now, it's like closer to a regular buzz than it is a like super understable buzz SS. Yeah, so that just stood up, went flat, kind of started to turn over at the end but it didn't really try and slam over like the other one did and really turn over it just once it got to where it was going flat it held that really really nice i'm going to throw the esp buzz now on a little bit less hyzer but it's going to have pretty much the same flight it'll probably have a bit more fade at the end i'm actually pretty surprised that esp buzz and the buzz ss seem to fly pretty much the same might be because one's in ESP plastic and one's in Z plastic, but I think those as they beat in are gonna to start to be a little bit more different. So yeah, I think I made it pretty clear. I'm really happy with my decision to switch to the buzzes. I like the rocks, but they just don't really fill the same slot that the buzzes do in my bag. From the Buzz SS to the ESP buzz and the Z buzz, filling in the spot of my rocks and my rock threes, they just have what feels like a bit more glide, a bit more consistency to going straight. The rocks feel like they had a tendency to either want to have a lot more hyzer or a lot more anhyzer than I wanted, depending on very little differences in how I throw them. With a buzz, seems like I have more room for error, and they just feel a lot better in the hand. I can have them in Z and ESP plastic, where the rocks are typically in like DX or Pro KC Pro plastic, which just, in my opinion, especially in conditions like this, when your hands are really dry, just don't feel like you get as much grip. They're gonna beat in a lot quicker. These will stay the stability they are out of the box for a bit longer. They also fly a lot nicer on those hyzer flip-ups. So for that reason, I also think they're a really, really good disc. Just for whatever reason, I can't get the rocks to fly the same way as the buzzes. I don't know what it is, but they're just a very different disc. And the buzzes seem to be a lot better for that. As for the Cayman and the Buzz OS, the Cayman was a disc that I had in my bag because I wanted an overstable mid-range, but it wasn't really filling a slot that I think I needed to be filled. The Cayman is a fast, but also very overstable and not a lot of glide. Disc that, you know, it fills the slot of like a Pig or a Toro with just a little bit more speed. I didn't think it was really doing that much for me other than getting a, maybe a touch more distance. The Buzz OS now gives me way more distance and I can rely on my Pig, my Toro, and my Zone for those closer up shots that are within the 200 to 300 range where with the buzz, with the like 250 to 350 range, I can now use that buzz OS for shots that are way more glidey. As you saw when I was thrown in this headwind, the Cayman died really early, but the buzz OS glided for a super long time and was like really, really good in the wind. And I honestly didn't even know that until throwing it now. And I was already putting it in my bag. Every time I throw these discs in new conditions, I'm just liking them more and more. So I'd highly recommend putting the buzz in your bag. I think it's the best mid range that any company has. I mean, feel free to prove me wrong, but I've thrown a decent amount of mid-ranges and I've thrown these rocks for a long time. And after a pretty small number of throws, I'm already falling in love with the buzzes. Stick around pretty soon. I think in April, I'll be doing an in the bag video. So I'll talk about all the changes I'm making to my bag. I'm taking out some discs that I've had in there for a very long time and making some replacements. I have not all Innova anymore, as you can tell with the buzzes going in. So there's gonna be some pretty big changes, some new discs, a lot of stuff that I've been throwing in the off season and practicing with, doing a ton of field work. So I'm really excited for that. So stick around for that. If you found this video helpful, Leave a comment, let me know, leave a like to help the algorithm, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back for some more interesting videos. I got something planned for next week, the week after, and the week after, and pretty much all of the off season. I'll see you next time. Peace.